Between school, your friends, and social media, answers are everywhere. But where can you find the truth? Welcome to The Well Student Cast. We're asking for a friend so you don't have to. We are back at The Well Student Cast. My name is Bryn, and I'm here with my friend, Ka'eo. What up, party people? Welcome back. We are stoked to be here. Yes, and we're back asking questions for a friend so you don't have to. Happy 2023. Pew, 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 pew. We're talking right now, and we just said like 2020, 2022. Yeah. So many different years other than 2023. <laughs> I think I'm still stuck in 2020. Yes. You know when you get to school, like after oh, break, and that. you are writing your dates on your paper, and you just keep writing the old date, yeah, and you're like, tough. oh my gosh. Yeah. And you learn how to change a two into a three really quickly, because <laughs> you you're sick of erasing it. <laughs> yeah. uh, just me. I'm so <laughs> very glad passionate you said that, because that. I remember being so mad at myself, yeah. especially because then you teachers like a oh, pen only and you're like oh gosh that's tough yeah it was a tough time for me drop in the comments what your favorite type of pen is oh i like a uh, 0.5 oh i'm like this, Are you 0.7 i'm like the psycho who loves 0.9 pens 0.9 <laughs> it writes so smoothly you might as well, what but i do love the i think they're called like the g5 g3 something pens i don't know do you have a pen brand that you like uh i usually get the sharpie fine point Oh, the point those are good. Or whatever. Those are nice. That's my favorite. Oh. It just seems like uh, I can write more words. We all know I talk a lot, so I write there for a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's interesting. Well, that was a good tangent. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. But like we need to talk about, because it is the brand new year, you probably, yes. you know, we probably heard it a lot, probably seen all over social media. New year, new, new me. me. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> New year, new us, new opening. Yeah, and we're here and we're for it. And so that just kind of gets us to this whole cliche where it's like New Year's always brings like this idea of like new things. Mm. And it's always like this thing where we get to reset, you know, yeah. like culturally, so like as a society. Um, we're like, oh gosh, like I, all right, like I'm going to go ahead and like go and start working out more or I'm going to yeah. like eat better. I'm going to read my Bible every day and not fail at my Bible reading plan Listen, this year. That one's so funny because I feel like we all do it and it's literally by February we stop. I'm going to read my Bible in a year this year. Are you? Is that your goal? No, that's what I'm saying. That's everyone's goal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Currently. <laughs> Is it bad though to like do goals? Do you, Bryn, do you even like do like New Year's resolutions? Um, I have actually, I used to, Okay. I don't anymore. Okay. How come? Um, because what I was realizing was that I actually was just putting my faith into a checklist of goals oh, dang. instead of like my heart being in it for the Lord. Like I was like, well, this seems like a good list. If I do all these, it'll fix everything else. Mm. But that's actually not, that's not what our hope's in. Our hope isn't in our new year's goals. But I don't think they're bad. Oh my gosh. I think they're bad for my personality type. Right. I think you really just unlocked something for me. I didn't even think about the fact that like I use my goals to be like, I'm good, Lord. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. I, there are things on there that I put specifically. Look how spiritual yes. my New Year's yes. resolutions are. They're actually more spiritual than yours. Therefore, yes. mm, I mean, you can fill in the blanks there, but yeah, no, it's bad. I'm like heck of convicted right now. Yeah, it's tough. So for me, instead of it being like a at New Year's, I'm like, here's everything I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Instead, what I've worked through is at the end of the year, it's a lot of reflection. Like, okay, what's the Lord taught me? Like what, I don't know what, how has he grown me this year? Mm -hmm. um, how has he grown my community? Things like that. And then the new year is instead of a list of goals, I do have a word that I'll focus on. That's cool. Uh, so last year was surrender. Um, and this year it's with, so recognizing like, oh. how do I, you how do I process? I have. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So how do I process my year and come back to this idea that like God is with me through all of it. Um, and I don't even know, like, I'm not saying that's what everyone should do. Yeah, I'm yeah, just saying yeah, for yeah. me, that helps instead of it be a, I need to hit this checklist throughout the year. Mm -hmm. It's like, I just want to be really intentional about this, um, idea yeah. and summarize it with a word. That's cool. I have never done the word thing. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people that have done the word thing. I tend to, uh, still do the goals. Mm. Um, and I yeah, just, tell us about that. Cause I don't think goals are bad. I just think in my own experience, it got a little out of whack. Yeah. Well, that's, that's fair. I, I mean, kind of, I'm a little convicted right now. So I'm like, gosh, maybe I should really like recenter my goals. But I usually tend to like set goals as far as like, uh, parts of my life. Mm. So it's like, all right, like what, it, like what's a goal as far as like, uh, like, you know, physical fitness that I want to hit. What's mm -hmm. my goal What's my relationship with the Lord and what's my goal in like relationships in general. Mm. Um, and then one for work. And so it's like, what are these goals that I can hit and attain? Um, because I just feel like uh, there needs to be projection for growth and not necessarily I'm just like growing without purpose. 
Um, and so I want to make sure that all the time and energy I give, it's like for something that's like beneficial. So I usually mm-hmm. have like goals like that. But what I did learn was sometimes we like, uh, our goals are like pretty big. Mm. Like I'm going to run a marathon. And yeah. then we just don't realize that like, uh, it takes a lot of work. Mm. And if that's like the big goal, then at some point you're going to feel defeated. And so oftentimes I take that big goal and I'm just like, all right, like what are the smaller steps yeah. to get to that big goal? I make those my goal, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's really smart. Well, and I think like even in that, I don't think it's bad to like, if you're sitting here and you're like, I want to take this opportunity this year feels like a fresh start. Yeah. I like the idea of it feeling new and I want to start some new habits. That's not a bad thing. No. Like we're not shaming goals here. I think yeah. I, that's actually a great thing, but how can you rewire your goals instead of them being a checklist of like, I'm going to do all these things. And maybe it's like just more a practice of your life. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, there's a thing called the rule of life mm-hmm. that uh, is basically just like what, um, I don't know what are like habits and practices that you have in place um, that ultimately all put your life towards Christ. And like, those are things I think that are good. And if now is the time where you're like, I'm thinking about this and processing it and I want to put those in place, that's not bad. Yes. Um, But also like be kind to yourself and know yourself and maybe start with like, I'm going to set two goals for this month Mm -hmm. and then like we can revisit and see how they're going and then alter and do new ones next month. Like it doesn't have to be a whole year long thing yeah we should be realistic about our own selves and our capacity what i love about the whole like goal thing Mm -hmm. is that um and i think you kind of hit on it but say that we're going to be intentional Mm. um like like especially with our spirituality and like our relationship with god sometimes we're like i'm just passively allowing other people to grow me yeah and what i love about when we talk about new year's resolution time it's like this is kind of you said this is a great opportunity for you to be like how can i be intentional Mm -hmm. with my relationship with god this year um, and in order to be intentional, I actually have to like give thought to it. Yeah. You know, and like the real life things that you said, mm-hmm. some of those things are actually really like, <clears throat> sorry, some of those are really good. Mm-hmm. For instance, for example, uh, like Sabbath, like maybe you've never practiced that before. Mm-hmm. Maybe like this year, you're like, how, how do I implement that? Maybe yeah. it's like, I'm not gonna do a whole 24 hours, but maybe I can start with like 10 minutes mm-hmm. this month, you know? Yeah. And one question I think that I would encourage you as you're processing, if you are in the place where you're like, I want to set goals for this year. One question I would say um, for you to ask yourself and reflect on is like shame or guilt motivating what your goals are, or is like a desire to be closer to the Lord motivating them? Because if it's like, I feel like I haven't read my Bible enough this year. I'm a really bad Christian. I'm a fraud. Like everything wrong is about me. And so therefore that needs to be my goal. That's different than like, I mean, like I have a desire to be in God's word and know him better. Yeah. Like those two frame of minds are very contrasting. Yeah, for sure. You're talking about performance based versus like heart, like a little heart transformation mm-hmm. kind of thing where it's like, yeah. I'm a do good and have fake fruit. Uh, Brad says a lot too, like, mm-hmm. right, do good. Try, try hard, do try, good, yeah, fail. fail. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. like, that's, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Is it starting from a heart place. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's a good, that's a good filter for people to process as they create goals or even like their words of the year. Like, yeah. Am I doing this? I'll be honest. Sometimes I do it because I feel pressure. I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. everyone else is doing mm-hmm. it, you know, and therefore I look like the idiot that's mm. not doing it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's real. Well, okay. What would you say is like exciting about the new year? Like, cause it's a, again, I love new year's. Yeah. Like it's actually one of my like favorite things ever. I think it's like, a, it's really exciting, fresh start. It feels like mm. fun, new, whatever. What is What's exciting about this possibility of a new year, some new goals, some new things? I think what's exciting is the fact that like, uh, like anticipation Mm -hmm. of like, look, I can like, we were kind of spent like in order to think of new things, we have to like remember old things. And so like how God has been faithful is like last year, despite all the like valleys Mm -hmm. you may have walked through that I know I walked through Mm -hmm. and then going into this year being like, wow, God, I like saw what you did here. I can't wait to see what you're going to do this year. And there's a lot of milestones in people's lives that they're looking forward to. And it's mm-hmm. like, God, like, how are you going to show up? Like, that's so exciting. This new stuff, fresh start. Like, you're doing something new. I can't yeah. wait, you know? On the caveat side, sometimes <laughs> I'm like, that's the fear of the unknown. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So sometimes it actually comes with some not excitement. Lots, lots of anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what am I going to accomplish this year? Yeah. Um, I'm falling behind. I don't know. I have FOMO already. Am yeah. I falling behind? If you're a senior, maybe you're like, where am I going to school this year? Like... Yeah. There can be a lot of those questions too. Am I asking um, to the dance? 
yeah, am I going to get in a relationship this year? There can be a lot of those questions. So what do you say to the person that is like, New Year isn't exciting to me, K.O. and Brand. New Year is actually very nerve wracking. Oh, yeah. um, you're in good company. As much as we are optimistically talking about this, I think in the back of my head, I'm also like, God, what are some ways that you might mm-hmm. let me down this year? Mm. What are some ways that you're actually going to ask me to do heavier things or harder things that I don't really want to do or don't feel prepared to do? Or what are you going to ask me to let go of that I don't want to let go of? And uh, I think my I think my only like hope or advice is just like God's been faithful mm. before, and it's not like what if He's going to do it. It's it's I think our uh, I had a pastor friend tell me it's not what if. The question we should be like really process processing is even if mm. God does that, or even yeah. if suffering comes my way, or even if things don't go the way that I thought it would. Is God still good? Mm-hmm. Is God still sovereign? Mm-hmm. Does God still love me? And that those answers are always yes. Yeah. Um, and so that maybe that's what we're clinging on to is the promises of God before we even walk into what the new year has for us. Yeah. I don't know, Bryn, what about you? That's so good. Um, yeah, even as we were talking, uh, when we were talking about this episode, we were talking about how, for me, I don't do goals, but I do the word. And I was joking about how <laughs> surrender was my word last year. And I feel like this past year, the Lord's really helped me <laughs> stretch that. Um, and so, yeah, I think even with the new year, I'm like, I can get on the pessimistic side. Or I'm like, okay, what's well, going to be hard this year? Or like afraid of what loss might come over mm-hmm. the next year, things like that. Um, but I think also looking at it through a lens of like, instead of looking at the loss or like how bad certain things were like, through those things, how much the Lord taught me more about his character. Mm -hmm. Um, And if things are to happen this year, like, okay, I'm going to get to know my creator even more. Yeah, that's real. Um, And I don't know. I think there's a cool hope in the sense of like, when we talk about new year, new me, I'm like, well, it's not the new year that makes you new. Like it's Mm -hmm. your life in Jesus and your hope in him that makes us new creation, not the fact that it's now 2023. Yeah, that's, um, that's what the Bible says, right? The old is past and like, yeah. you are all, like all those who believe are new creations in Christ. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And so like that is the God that we're still serving today. Like Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Yeah. Like we um, are going to be with him throughout this whole year. Um, no matter what, <laughs> what 2023 holds, right? Um, and so if you are one of the people that are kind of sitting here like, how bad is this you're going to be? Mm. I think I'd encourage you to like try to take it day by day. Um, I really, sorry, I really love that you said that because I think sometimes I think if it's a new year, new me, then I think it's a new year, new God, Mm. you know, Mm -hmm. like somehow God's going to be different. Like what's God like this year? Exactly. Did God go through new year, new me? Like, does he have goals for me (laughs) that I'm one aware of, you know, or himself? I don't know. I really like that you said that. Um, Because I think that's really encouraging for people to hear. Mm -hmm. So thanks for saying that, Brynn. Yeah. 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 Well, we are excited for this year with you guys. And I mean, I'm just really excited. 2022 is like first year podcast. We're going on year two. And we're just excited to see what the Lord has in store for this year. Honestly, this has been fun. And I can't wait to continue to like hang out more with new guests and new topics. And just kind of see how this, how the Lord just, you know, impacts your life through what we talk about. Yeah, totally. Well, if you like this episode, please give us a five star rating Let's go. and uh, send this to a friend. Uh, let them know they don't need to hit the gym every single day this week they in don't. order to be New Year, New Me. No, they um, are already loved. They are God. already loved and chosen and seen. But <laughs> send it to them, share it with your friends, yep. subscribe, all the things. And we will catch you next time yes. on the Well Student Cast as we talk about is it wrong to go to parties? Is it? I don't know. We'll We'll see. see. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Well Student Cast. As always, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about us. For more information about The Well Student Ministries, visit thewellcommunities.org slash students. 